on this example, the last thing uh, that I wanted to go through is dealing with um, quadra or classifying as well as um, determining the degree and the leading coefficient. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, I should have done this before adding or subtracting because basically, whenever we're adding or subtracting, I want to to do multiply. Before we're adding or subtracting, the main important thing is we always want to have these in descending order. So basically, we always want to write, when I'm talking about descending order, I'm talking about the exponents. And again, as I mentioned, x, we can always write as x to the first. And if there is no x, you can always write it as x to the 0. So basically, what we're doing is I'm just going to write these in with the highest exponent first, or the term with the largest power first. OK? So you guys see how I just rewrote this as 3, 2, 1, 0? Now, do we, out, do we usually write x to the 0? No, because x to the 0 is just 1, right? So you can delete that. Do we write x to the first? No, we just write x. OK? Um, so now, once you've rewritten, this is what we call in descending power order. Once we've written in this format, now we need to identify the degree and the leading coefficient. Well, the degree is that largest power, which in this case is 3. And the leading coefficient, in this case, is and that's it. We didn't talk about M behavior, so you guys are good with that.